Welcome to episode 17 of the Fools on a Hill podcast. I'm your host, Cal, and I am joined by Yanni and Liam once again. How are we? Hello. 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 We're very good. How are we? I'm, I'm going to answer for the both of us. We are. Oh, good. Fantastic. Um, now, I'm going to address all the listeners. We do this podcast via Zoom, and I wish you could see Liam's hair right now. <laughs> it is wonderful. Oh, it's wild, baby. To behold. Wow. It is a sight to behold. I've never seen his forehead that much before. I used to tie my hair back up. Oh, you, you did. That is, yeah. that, is, that is true. You're a bloody liar. That is true. You're Got a, a little liar. big forehead. Plenty of room for activities on this phone. <laughs> so many activities. Um, this week saw the finale of uh, UK version of RuPaul's Drag Race. Now, we all know that Yanni is a massive fan. Uh, so he is going to be sitting out of this conversation. No, I yeah. want to know what you think. Just... I think that the wrong person won. Oh, oh you are correct. Bang on, man. Bang on the money. Yep. I just wanted to ask you, Liam, what were your thoughts on the final? The final. Um, in what in what way, Callum? I thought that the final lip sync was uh, not great. Yep. I thought that it was interesting to see all the other queens, and I forgot half of them, actually, somehow. Yeah. Um, I think the wrong queen won, but I'm not that upset that the one that won won. Yeah, I'm exactly the same as that. Um, I saw someone someone tweet saying, "Laura." Uh, well, spoilers, by the way, because you know, if you watch it, why haven't you seen it? Um, Lawrence won the first half before they had to split up for COVID. Bimini won the second half. Yep. So I kind of understand why Lawrence won. Although, RuPaul loved Bimini. Them the yeah. One thing I should say, uh, and this is a spoiler for our podcast for the day, we've like we mentioned UK Hun. We've not mentioned the actual song. We've not covered the song that they released this week. You oh, know how they all did. Can you feel the We need to take love. a break and listen to that. I think uh, we'll shoehorn it in. Um, yeah, well, we'll, well, maybe then. Yanni, you can listen to it a bit. I can remember it. I, it, it did did they all do a verse? Am I right in saying? Yeah, that? you are correct. Oh, I cannot remember it at all. You can't remember. Uh, it, was, it, it, it wasn't great. But, yeah. alas. Alas? Yeah. Alas. That's alas. it. Alas. <laughs> For the introduction. Anyone else want to say anything? I want to say I've had a fantastic time listening to the hits of the band Police. The Police. Um, right. uh, for some reason. Uh, was it? Oh, it was a, someone did a video on YouTube of um, how... Like influential every breath you take, or how like you know, change mm-hmm. music, uh, or whatever it was. <laughs> so I uh, ended up going down a rabbit hole of police. Um, I tried to listen to all the like album stuff, but nothing really stuck with me, apart from the singles that I already knew that I liked. But I've um, I really like them. So that's yeah, me. A band <laughs> that I've never, a band I've never really connected with. I won't no. lie. Well, I'm Not surprised really Liam, you haven't, because um, the bass is always good. The bass is fantastic. I actually have one of their like greatest hits records, and I have messaged in a bottle as well. But yeah, I've just never really yeah. bothered. What I've heard has mm. always been pretty good. Yeah, mm. um, Roxanne's a great drinking game. It is. Yeah, it is. Painful. It is. Pain- Very painful. Very painful. Mm. Very painful. How do you play it? Do you spin or do you swap drinks? Because I've played it two different ways. Sorry? So what? <laughs> so on when it says Roxanne, you take yep. a take a sip yeah. and then uh, on when it says red light you either swap your drink with someone to your left or your right wow. or you spin okay you've in- introduced some new rules into my do life do you stand up when they say Roxanne uh, no we drink. do oh, okay. sit down stand up situation instead sit of the down, spin I said sip oh, not no. sip <laughs> no yeah so no. Gino, do you just do you just what? drink when do you just drink when it says Roxanne is that how you play you drink and stand stand up and sit Roxanne again every time Oh, that's why it's nah. painful because you and nah, the enough. indigestion yeah. is lethal. Oh, it's heavy. oh well, I struggle with that anyway. Um, but yeah, when I used Lovely. to play in back at home, we used to swap drinks. But it, since coming to Chester, it's been around. So I just thought, you know, nah. regional oh. differences. 
It's like a back of the bomb. Introduce the chest a lot to uh, standing up and sitting standing down up. over and over again. Yeah. Thousands of times. That sounds horrific. It's awful. Shall we get into what's the story? What? Why not? So, Carl, what's the story in um, your life today? Um, life the story today. in my life... <laughs> the story in my life is not important, really. But what is important it's is not. that the Brit Awards... Have found their host. <gasps> Who's it going to be? Is. Who are they? Oh, it's going to be Jack Whitehall again. What? Oh, again? What? For a fourth year really? in okay. a row. To be fair, it feels like he's done it a lot more than four times, yeah, or, or three times. Or residency. The That's, uh, the Brit Awards, it's part of the furniture now, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's part of the furniture. He's actually all right. He, I think he's quite a good host. He is. For he was good last year. I don't know. He was good last year. A bit edgy. I don't know how it's going to. Don't know how funny. it's going to be done because. You know, no crowd probably. If it, it's Don't to be crowd, scheduled yeah. on May eleventh, that's, so, that's a bad idea mm. by then. Is it all going to be online because of, or is it going to be like the Grammys well, where there, there's like four people there in masks? Is the Brits usually like the Grammys where the they're all the singers are kind of at the bottom and the crowd are at the top kind of thing? Yeah. How, how is the Brits? So yeah, so the Brits yeah. do like the Grammys where there is no crowd in the back. It's just um, them all sat there looking at each other. Nice and awkward for everyone. Awkward, nice yeah. and awkward. I guess. Yeah. And Jack Whitehall. I mean, talking to everyone. The Brits aren't exactly the pillar of music uh, award shows, are they? It's all right. No. You know who's going to win? It'd be like Little Mix will win Best Group and all that. You know. Well, rightly so. As per. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Correct. Talking of uh, Best Group, uh, Biffy Clyro have uh, been teasing a sister record for a celebration of endings, their last album today. Uh, they abbreviated it to RMV. So. I'm going to pose the question. What do we reckon RMV could stand for, guys? Um, rude Mr. Valerie. Good shout, Yanni. Um, ride my vehicle. Oh, I good. like that one. That's good. Mm. Yeah. That's you thought good. it would Ravage. be a bit naughty, didn't you? But... Hang on, hold on this one. I did. Ravage my vagina. There we go. <laughs> yep. That's you just distasteful, Liam. Distasteful. It's true, Rupture though. my venison. It's a good one. Rock to my vagina. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all they came out with. It was just a tweet before. No date set yet. Uh-huh. Um, Celebration Two of Endings two. was very average. Some good songs on there, but not a great album overall. So let's hope it's better. Exciting. Um, uh, I'll I'll do the next one then. If anyone wants to butt live in, and direct. please live and di- oh fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, so rude. Off. Off that the was pace. Rude. AJ Tracy's second album, Flu Game, is to be to be released on April sixteenth. To be sold. Uh, <laughs> that is my. <laughs> I was going to say to be scheduled. Um, that is my extent on the no- of my knowledge on the situation. Anyone else know anything about it? No. Um, no. I know that most of the time when there's a good song on the radio, he tends to be involved. Wow. Big, right. Big fan of AJ Tracy over here. I don't know his last few tracks with whoever he does them with. Usually. Go on, you go, yeah, this is all right. And then, it's, oh, someone on AJ Tracy, and hmm, makes sense, I guess. Right. Like I really disliked guy. I really Brooke. disliked that, whatever the main, you know, the massive Blood one. Bloodbrook Grove. That one. That, I hated that whenever that came on in, in clubs. It's a great song. Clubs. It is a good song, but like, I don't know. A bit annoying. I liked um, a little bit. The one he did with Dental Curry and Jamie. I think it's called Abracadabra. That is good. If you've not listened to it, listen to it. I don't think I have listened to it, so I'll listen to well, it. Well, buddy, listen to it. I'm telling you. Wow. Give it a listen. I will. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Um, there you. Black Midi hmm. have announced their second album, Cavalcade. Oh. How soon? Uh, to be released on the 28th of May. Carl, can you mind what the first album's called? Uh, Schlagenheim. <laughs> cool. I like that. It is uh, a necessity to say it with that. Um, very dodgy accent as well. Yeah, it's good. Um, good Twenty eighth of May is proven to be a very exciting day for us as people <laughs> because Sports Team are releasing Plant Tests, which is an indie exclusive black vinyl release featuring live cuts, demos, and rarities. Liam, you are the saddest person I know when it comes to <laughs> Sports Team LPs. <laughs> so. How did you feel inside when this was announced? Were you excited or were you... They, um, well, they were, tweeted were, a few did, days ago just saying Thursday or something. Or yeah. something mm-hmm. was coming on Thursday. 
so knew something was happening. Um, didn't expect this to be fair. This is quite a cool thing. Um, I was on a work call when it came out, and I was very worried that I wouldn't um, be able to get it before it sold out. So it's limited to a thousand. Although I reckon there's still some for sale. <laughs> thousand nine. Um, so I pretended someone was at the door to <laughs> go open the work call for a second. Uh, yeah. oh, so, sorry. Um, someone's just at the door. <laughs> I um. <laughs> when I, I, bought it. <laughs> I had a very similar situation with my my Mac Mini that arrived today. Uh, I was on the call. Flex. I was being um. <laughs> Really nice to the customer, like chatting away, like giving him the old one liners. I don't know. Um, and they were like, I think I, oh yeah, I sorted out a payment for them, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And um, the husband came on and was like, oh, thank you so much for getting this sorted. And then the doorbell rang and I was like, yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, customer I'm, service at its finest. Yes. Yeah, it's the most important thing. But we don't, um, we don't know who we work for, so it's fine. You don't. It's a major bank. Um, but there's yeah. so many of them. <laughs> but and I'm just trying to say our job's this. not that important. Who cares about money? We all ordered it. I ordered it last time enough, I think. Yes, you yeah. did. Yeah, we've all ordered it. It's um, a single release, which I was quite happy about. Mm-hmm. There's going to be no represses or anything. You know, no. we're not going to have 12,000 colour variants of it. Are, so. we all, are we all disappointed that it's um, in black vinyl, though? Oh, without a shadow of a doubt. The uh, cover nice, has a but... nice... The cover has a nice purpley aspect to it, which I'm sure you loved, Yanni. Um, Great. So it would have been nice for the, for the... Va- I think it does. Have I dropped that? Oh, mm-hmm. like the tree is like a purple, isn't it? Oh, right, yeah. So it would have been nice for the vinyl to be that colour, but, you know, yeah. I'm not disappointed. It's the content on the Should vinyl that's uh, the most important thing. Right it is. Quick run through of what's on there. Um, Go on then, Liam. A couple of live... Before- so of the tracks that are here, uh, there's a few existing tracks. We've got the races. Uh, which is a Lamac live recording in 2019. Steve Lamac. Uh, with yeah. Lamy himself. Um, we've got um, Beverly Rose live at Moth Club. That's Back where to I want to be. Live at Moth Club. <laughs> um, uh, and Ski Lifts live phone demo. Oh, and sorry, Fishing a, a Lamac a live recording as well. Steve Lamac. Um, and then you've got Sleeping Every Night Home Demo 2019, which later became... Um, I'm sleeping every night. Here it comes again. Yeah, I feel like I. Yeah, I don't know. So. Uh, I think still, there's right. still lyrics in the song. Um, and then we've got a few more. We've got uh, some tracking demos, some studio performances. That uh, uh, the, all the rest of them I haven't mentioned. So there are 14 tracks in total are unheard. Um, so far, unless you happen to be there, I guess. And one of them, which is the second track, Jane. It just has next to it LP2. Oh! So shoot. Looks like that's going to be uh, an old sneak preview of the second album. I don't know where you're getting that information exciting. from. Just a guess, <laughs> just a hunch in that one. Um, there's one of them, give it a day, home demo uh, 20 question mark question mark. Just don't, remember the, just don't know when they did that, really. I haven't got a clue. Um, oh, go, going soft bedroom demo. Uh, in brackets is called Elvis 54 wow I don't know I'm, in- I'm intrigued I'm intrigued to see what the differences are he's intrigued um, yeah I'm not really a fan of like demos but I thought this was quite a you know it's, it's a good bit of kit to have in your collection <laughs> I think Cracking can bit of kit I think they'll be probably uh, quite good demos yeah, yeah to be probably fair. Probably. And there's quite a few like studio I, performances and uh, recordings and stuff. So. I would be interested to see how good quality the demos are because from what I know from the pictures that they normally put up, um, it's normally done on Logic, like in one mm-hmm. of their bedrooms. So I've been, as a music maker, I'm quite intrigued mm-hmm. for the quality of that. Mm. Mm. Good, good stuff. One to look forward to, I am sure. sure. Uh, Easy oh, Life sure. have announced their debut LP, well, Life's a Beach. Quality. Yep. And then you I die. I can mirror that. Uh, that is due out on the 4th of June, and I would just like to tell you now that there will be no podcast that week because I will be doing anything else other than listening to that. Um, could just avoid that. Um, could yeah, we'll do, a classic, we'll do a classic uh, <laughs> spotlight that week. <laughs> <You can laughs> <certainly. laughs> It'll be an anniversary or something, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, on a more positive note Jungle uh, are releasing a new album Loving in Stereo to be released August 13th yeah. that is oh a very long while away 
But it's one to look forward to. I wish it was a bit uh, more in the middle of the summer. I feel like it's a shame that it's so far towards the end of the summer. Yeah, I can get on board with that. Um, they release a new tune, Keep Moving, which we will delve into shortly. Mm. Oh. But this is the final part of What's the Story? And that comes with an album announcement from Jake Bug. Oh. With but the hey. new album Saturday Night, Sunday Morning, which is to be released on August 20th. Wow. Um, did you see a little video put up? I did. That was actually quite funny. Oh, I didn't see that. He is. What was it on? He, he, he was just wa- he was just walking with like a coffee. It was just looked like in his local forest, and um, <laughs> just ended up the local forests. Forest. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he just fucked up the beginning, but he didn't cut it out. But it was quite funny because it's very very Jake Bug. Um, Yanni, have you just signed into Twitter? I did. He did. Okay, that's fine then. That's fine. Just a bit of a security Stop alert. No me, worries. Oh, were you going to ask us a question about Jake Bug? Um, I don't know. Was I? I thought you were to say something before I mentioned the video. Um, or was it about? The oh, I was just—I was just going to say something like, if it's anything like the single he's released, it's not going to be good. <laughs> but at the same time, I always say that I want artists to not just do what they did ten years ago, but worse. So if he's trying to reinvent himself, good luck to the bloke. I want the same from Jake Bug yeah. as his first album. Um, that's what and I the second want, album's very um, good as well. Yeah, it's decent. Yeah, I want no more Jake Bug. What I want is <laughs> some stinking hot, like I mean, like <laughs> stinking hot. Well, where's the show? <laughs> I'm talking like 40 degrees in wow. the swamp. Us, oh, you know, the flies, steamy, Louisiana. stinking heat. I tell, I tell you where we could go to get some of this heat. Yes. Go on, please. What about what about our local country club? Oh, fucking neck. Oh, bloody hell. Hot off the press, ladies and gentlemen. Callum, tell me about your favourite country club and are there dangerous chemicals currently being blasted over it? It's, and? You know, it's a conspiracy theory. Is uh, that weird is it true? sexual fetishes that go on by individuals there? Yeah, and a weird change of um, voice. <laughs> That's all. Um... Firstly, I'd just like to say I'm disappointed that I was not met with a... Okay, sorry. No, we'll cut that. No, 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 no. no. It's Come fine. We've, we've just... oh, oh, sure. Go away. I'm not cutting that. I'm just... I'm going to prove to everyone your incompetence. Um, <laughs> to mix it up I have yeah. been listening... Today's a day. <laughs> I've been listening to Lana Del Rey's smash hit of a That's seventh record, Contrails here, Over the Country no, no. Club. No, 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 no. I think you should read I've not put that... <laughs> I think I not put that. You did, didn't you? No. Okay. <laughs> who did? It was Liam. Someone naughty, wrote naughty. Anal Del Rey. Oops. Yeah, 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 it's an anagram. Yeah. Liam, the oldest of the group, has the youngest mind. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I've been listening to Lana Del Rey's Chemtrails Over Country Club. I thought it. Um, there, <laughs> there it is. Um, I'm going to start off with the positives. Oh. Because you know, there were very few. There were very. <laughs> no, no, no. It has a name. Uh, the, no, no, the, no. <laughs> the opening track, "White Dress." I think this is probably the best song on the record. Yeah, it's yeah. very good. Her voice is so different in it. It sounds um, forced, isn't the word, but it sounds like she's really, I don't know, trying something. <laughs> And I think it really comes across well. However, her just what, that change in melody for the line down in the men in music business conference was just so unnecessarily yeah. forced. I know there's reasons to it, and I'm not going to get into that because you can just go on Genius and Google what the song's about. But I don't know, I it kind of to. took... Um, it's just about her being a woman in... Uh, the, you know, being man. young, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> being nineteen and feeling like she hadn't. She's still she's, nineteen. Don't, she's no, not now. <laughs> this is this is about her. Ten years. <laughs> Very good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I get but it. yeah, okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it kind of took the immersion out of the song for me because I was really into it until that line, and then it just I don't know. It annoyed me. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Chemtrails Over the Country Club, the song. Again, I thought the melody was a bit off. It just felt really stabby and it wasn't it didn't really flow for me. 
But um, I don't know, that was one of the highlights as well. <laughs> and they were my thoughts on it. So that's, that's how I felt about the album. Um, Wild at Heart. Originally, by this point, I've skipped three or four songs. Um, I was struggling. I was You're really plugging. sad. I, was, I Definitely, I put in the group chat, do I have to finish my Heart of the Press <laughs> album this week? And Liam said, he finished it, so I had to. Yep. So I persevered. Um, but Wild at Heart, I actually thought was quite interesting in some parts. It brought the album, you know, it piqued my interest a bit more because at this point I was just sat on my bed on, on Twitter, not taking any interest. <laughs> um, however, I was in disbelief that I was only five songs through. <laughs> yeah. By, uh, by the next song, Dark But Just a Game, Lana Del Rey has appeared to have figured out what drums are and they have been introduced to the album. That was quite enjoyable. Um, it was quite good, but I was in serious danger of losing the will to live at this point. Um, I put it sunny outside. I should be listening to the new MGMT and Metronomy remix, <laughs> which we will discuss <laughs> shortly after. Yeah. Oh, um, um, going on to probably the two main negatives for me. How am I pronouncing this one? Yosemite? Yosemite. 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 It's 100% okay. Yosemite. Yosemite. Okay, that makes sense. I feel <laughs> like I've heard very that. Very confident Yosemite. <laughs> yeah. I convinced him to do it. Yosemite. Yosemite. He did. Um, I was very happy that there was only three more songs to go at this point. Um, the chorus lyrics are so, so bad. I can't even remember them, but they were so basic. It was like, I'll do it for you, you'll do it for me, all that crap. Mm. It was so basic. Very bad. Um, like and then I, finish, I finished with a little joke. Um, I put breaking up slowly, more like killing me slowly. Am I right? Um, so that was my thoughts on the album. Very in-depth, as always. Um, I do feel like I've been a bit dramatic. Um, the songs are all nice individually. She has an amazing voice, but it's just as a whole album it was really really hard to listen to in my opinion um if you like Lana Del Rey just go and listen to Born to Die that, you know or Norman fucking Rockwell Norman I hear that's good, I, good, good I didn't listen to that I, it somehow passed me by um but I might go back and listen to it if it's nothing that's like this um a couple of the songs I've added to my playlist but I will never ever listen to this whole thing again and for that reason that I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 mm. because it was good. It's just too much of the same thing for me. Anyone? <laughs> Anyone want to jump yeah, in? I to it. <laughs> um, I I skipped through. Um, I wise. I, I la, 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 the first song, whatever that was called, again, I can't remember. White dress. That was indeed the best song on the album, without doubt. Um, I, I liked what she did with the voice and the vocal delivery was very good. Um. And I didn't that whole like line delivery change that you're on about that didn't really notice didn't bother me really. Um Fair enough. Interesting to note if you care, I suppose. Um I think all the songs were written with Jack Antonoff. Mm-hmm. Um Apart from one, I think. Which is which t- who Taylor Swift has also worked with on folklore. Um and he seems to be mm-hmm. going around all those female artists and spreading his um, wisdom um, <laughs> but yeah I thought uh, a different word uh, did you? okay but yeah I I didn't really care for the rest of it I I wanted to like it because that first song I was like oh okay maybe this is going to be a like, pretty decent album and maybe this will surprise me um, no it didn't it was very dull <laughs> and then I thought yeah. Why did I even like Lana Del Rey? Um, like, have the songs always been this kind of thing? Wow, your hair is long, Carl. Um, Thank you. <laughs> most of the songs, I think, they're like a hit to, well, usually hit to a reason. You got like summertime sadness. You got mm. uh, video games. You know, they're good songs. I don't know. Isn't it weird what makes a song good? <laughs> Just not being bad, I think. Thanks. Usually, mm. Liam, what's your thing? Uh, opinion on this album since um i noticed straight away on white dress not even the one about the uh in the conference room line even before then the it's just 
just that's the conference. That's the business conference. But she does it earlier than that, though. Unless she says Does that she? line twice. Yeah, she yeah. says it twice. Basically, okay, maybe I'll turn. Um, you idiot, Liam. That just God damn it! Bug me. But I did think White Dress was one of the best songs. I also liked Wild at Heart. Um, mm-hmm. I actually liked Breaking Up Slowly. Oh. Big, but. I accidentally Good played bus. this. <laughs> I accidentally played this. Song. I told you not to call me that in public. <laughs> uh, um, I accidentally played this album on shuffle, so after White Dress came on Breaking Up Slowly, and it was an accident. And I liked it then, but then actually when I played it in order, when I got to that, I was didn't like it as much. So uh, there's Fair the enough. but. Um, <laughs> A voice, I definitely, um, sorry, before going to a voice, I definitely noticed the Taylor Swift similarities in terms of just songwriting, in terms of lyrical content, in terms of the fucking syllable smashage. smashage. Really need for that language, um, I don't sorry, think so. Sorry, apologies, I got very angry there. <laughs> Very heated. <laughs> apologies to any uh, miners listening. Um, miners? Dusty in the mind. Yeah, I don't know. Seems like a dark and lonely job. Um, but what else was I going to say? Her voice sounds different to how I remember her voice sounding. Very, like just different, like a different voice, like it's a different person. Words. But um, <laughs> that could very well just. I just didn't expect it. Expect it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm just stretch my Fast. I didn't expect her to sound like this for some reason. She was a lot more. Um, I expect her voice to be a bit deeper. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a bit more uh, high pitched than I expected, but I thought it was all right. I prefer. Well, I don't know. I haven't been back to listen to Norman fucking Rockwell, but when I first listened to it Language last year, the, um... I listen. I didn't do that one. That's not my fault. I enjoyed that last year, and the memory of enjoying it is more than I enjoyed this album. If that makes sense. So. Mhm. Did that? Did that album have drums? I believe so. I remember it loves a drum, up, doesn't it? Just, just, some, just a bit general. of a dynamic change, Yanni. That is all I want. Uh, also, the cover of "Doing Time" by Sublime, which is very good. Hey, very good. Yeah, Sublime. Um, so I think, I think the country club has closed for the night, and it's time to move on. <laughs> time to move Liam. on, is it? Daddy, it is let's time hop. To move on. Let's uh, hop on, uh, hop on a train, leave the self, um, and we'll head to local national trust. Um, Get your beach body out. Careful, dogs die in hot cars. Should name them all. <laughs> Harold. <laughs> Harold. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, put your tie on. The one with the blue funk on it. There we go. All the songs named. Uh, that's my review of National Trust by Blanket Man. Thank you very much. Wow. Efficient. No. Uh, yeah. So I covered the EP National Trust by Blanket Man. Um, Blanket Man. Maybe. Blanket Man. It's funny. Bl- Blanket Man. Um. Seven songs, twenty minutes, nineteen seconds, twenty twenty one release. Yeah, blanket man. Um, I enjoyed this EP. I'm going to much detail here of my notes. What the hell, you guys? <laughs> there are no notes. Um, I'm what do you mean, you guys? Um, <laughs> excuse me. I'm actually. Um, I'm actually uh, doing a review. Um, oh. First song was a bit repetitive for me. Uh, Beach body that is. Second song, Leave the South, I quite liked uh, the lyrical content there about leaving the South and coming up north because it's better. Um, I agree. But don't. Agree. Stay down there. Please. Yeah, we don't. No, so <laughs> don't actually leave the South. <laughs> um, come home, but don't leave your home. Leave your front South. Um, a message for work. Then this, um, In which case, go. <laughs> leave your home. Help the economy go. up here in whichever way you can, really. Um, he's not, he's not got it, has he? He's not understood. Sorry? No, he's, he's not got the co- uh, the Boris Johnson joke. Oh, sorry. No, there's no need to apologise, mate. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes... Hey! The full thing circle, is, like a wagon wheel. Sometimes no, sorry is the hardest word. You can't do that. You can't do that. I don't know what John once said. Um, the second half of this album, I say half, there's seven songs, uh, but from the fourth song onwards, uh, picked up a bit for me. Um, especially the last three songs it's, it's the, funny sorry to interrupt it's funny you should say half and then four because half of seven for me if I had to pick would be four <laughs> if it had to be whole numbers 
I'd feel it's, yeah, it's, more, it's, more, it's more four than three, isn't it? Yeah, it is more four than three. When I say the second half of seven songs, you know um, it's you're from about the fourth three. song. Yeah, it's about four, three Four, five, six, and seven. No, I know. No, 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 no. The first no, half no, no. is four songs. Yeah, so five, yeah, six, so and seven. The second half is also four songs because it's an odd number. If that works. No, 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 no. I'm it depends, the second on, the, half it depends is on the feel. Uh, well, right, well just the, the, the last four songs of this <laughs> seven song EP <laughs> are the best, particularly the last three. Um, I really like Blue Funk. Um, oh, we know. I think it's a great album. I think it's well written. I think musically it's good. I'm not sure if there's multiple vocalists, but it sounds like there's <laughs> multiple vocalists. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you can hear, you know, uh, some influences there, some part of Parquet Court and by extension pavement you can hear some some lines sound a bit like uh back to diori but i'm not sure just made that up um and another band that i haven't written down i don't remember who it was that they sounded like um but i enjoyed it anyway i really enjoyed it don't have much more to say well um, whoop do you listen if you're into indie music give it a listen why not it's not very in your face it's quite uh it's <laughs> easy to listen i guess quite um, out of your face i say there's a few uh, quite out of your face well out, out of your face some good bass lines there's a few kind of repetitive parts or you know well i guess they just you just don't hear choruses very often in music these days i guess um and so when that chorus comes back a couple of times and the chorus is the same line four times it feels like it's happening a lot but it's probably just more to that's more talking about music in general nowadays doesn't really have that um but yeah i really i enjoyed it i really like it i will listen to it more there's a few tracks that have gone into my playlists um, give it a listen. What would you rate it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Actually. Well, that's, I, thought that's that's ignoring, I thought you were just ignoring me. Yeah, I was... <laughs> um, I'll ask again. I think I'm going to have to give it a 4 or 5 considering you give Lana oh, a 3. It's just not yeah. fair. No, don't go off um, his review. What do you yeah, want to rate it? I don't know. I would have. I, it's like a 7 out of 10. So what do you do there? Do you know what I mean? 3 or 4. But I, I'm gonna <laughs> 4 go with... we just discussed four there we go four no I think it's really good I've got no necessary any problems Palms. with it um, I don't know the out of five systems flawed isn't it but um, well I, oh. I put it you were, no, you were having listen, we were having the out of five yeah, so you can no, get it's fucked it's important I'm not saying you need to change it I'm just saying there are flaws but I love them I love the flaws all the flaws um, the second album did anyone listen to the Blanketman or LP? EP? Yes, I did. Tell me. Um, it was the last thing I listened to today, and I had to listen to everything today. And that came after Lana Del Rey and the EP that Yanni has to listen to, which we will <laughs> discuss in oh so much detail Just you which, very shortly. Just you. Um, and I would like to think I'd enjoy. I'd have enjoyed this more if I d- didn't have to just sit through that. Um, yeah. It's okay. It didn't set my world alight. It offend you. Uh, but what I will say, it, what I will say, no, it did not. It did not offend me. But one did later, and I will, you know, we'll discuss that. As well. Oh, um, the tie was my favourite song off this little EP. Cool. And that's all I would like to say. I'd like to say before we come to Yanni, um, the song "Blue Funk" reminded me somewhat of sports team as well. I guess that's kind of. Pay Full steam for that vibe as well, don't um, but actually the song itself sounds a lot like the song uh, very similar to the song 40 on to repeat by Fiddler um, but yeah it's pretty ages. funky um, it's a good song Yanni I, tell me I didn't listen to this with my full attention I'm afraid I skipped through but um, everything you've described there Liam was perfect so listen thank you Listeners at home or wherever you may be, in someone else's home. Stop trying to rob from them. I should you shouldn't not. be there. Um, shouldn't be there. Yeah, he's described it perfectly, down to a T. Down to a fat T. So there's nothing more to say on that, really. No, go there's not. not. The what? But now on to the most important release of this week, I think. I feel. Um, you know... Ringo! One of the founding artists Ringo! of our namesake. It's Mr. Star, Yanni. And uh, as the star that you are, in our hearts, um, you tell just... us about Ringo Star's new EP. I will start to do that. Oui. Um, it's called Zoom In EP. 
Is it? I think. I thought it was called Peace Now. Is it not? Nope. Zoom and EP. Zoom and EP. Oh, cool. He's got a T-shirt that says Peace Now because it wouldn't be rendered oh, without Peace and Love, baby. Peace and Love. Peace and Love. Um, peace and Love. So this was uh, awful. Um, <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's no other way to put this. Um, the I'm gonna get the word in before we later say it inevitably. The juxtaposition between Oi. McCartney three and then this just World goes to sh- just goes to show why who the songwriter was. Yeah, why he shouldn't be allowed to sing and make his own songs. Actually, no, sing. I think singing's the main issue I have with this. Um, the songs are oh no I can't say that don't say that I can't say that don't lie one of the songs Um, is okay it's worth noting that um, half of five so three um, (laughs) (laughs) that's true is it the the second uh, half or oh shut up Ian Uh, three out of the five songs weren't even credited to Ringo oh Oh, wow yep Uh, oh wow can you remember which ones were? I the oh fucking hell. Sorry. W- waiting for the tide to turn. I think the, the reggae last two. One. I the think pure the reggae two. song. I think is Ringo. I think, <laughs> hang on, I can I can find that out. Um, if it wants to load lyrics for me. Yeah, yeah. Genuinely, that last one. And um, no, sorry, not the last one. The second to last one. Oh, and teach me to tango. Sorry, the third one. Oh fuck. <laughs> So um, lyrically uh, credited to Well, Ringo. I don't, I don't um, know. He's got a writing credit on just those two. The other ones, the other three, uh, he doesn't have a single writing credit on, apparently. So he didn't write so, here tonight? Apparently not. Um, so what makes that even worse is that not that he's just a poor songwriter, he is just a poor judge of songs because there's no way that, that should have been accepted. No. Um, no. So... It's obviously also tuned in parts. Um, there's a lot of double tracking. Um, normally that would be done if it's quite a weak vocal. Um, but then there is obvious auto tune in uh, some of the segments. The is, songs... the, is the original uh, 100 Gex, I guess, isn't it? He is, yeah, that's what, exactly where I was going with it. Uh, no, <laughs> every every song. Sounds like it should be a garage band demo song. <laughs> like the ones that are already already yep. built in. Yep. <laughs> like the demo ones, yeah. Yep. The demos. That's exactly what I was getting yeah. at, yeah. Um, <laughs> like the garage band demos at the end, yes, yeah. Yeah. It's funny, someone should have said that, shouldn't they? Um, <laughs> here's to the night. Garage band. Uh, just Liam, please be quiet. Here's to the night. My only my only uh, notes on this. Here's to the last of my sanity. Um <laughs> I've skipped over zoom in, zoom out. Uh, I just went straight to teach me to tango. I thought this one sounds very much like a Beatles song, but is missing a great Maca vocal. Um, and the chorus, when he just suddenly blurts out, Mama, teach me the tango, <laughs> is uh, so shit. I, I can't even express how shit that is. Um, you can probably tell, but there's not many notes I have for this. I'm just going to be slating it. Um, waiting for the tide. Why are we suddenly in Rastaland? Um, <laughs> Why is it so it's, reggae? It's so <laughs> unbelievably reggae. Um, oh. It's yeah. I don't. I don't understand it. I I don't understand that one. Um, and that's one of the ones he had a fucking writing credit on. So I don't. I don't get it. Um, what have we put here? Not a lo- <laughs> not enough love in the world. Okay, and this is this will be my overarching um, comment on the whole thing. By trying to spread a positive message that everyone should love one another, he has inadvertently made me want to hate him. <laughs> um, and that's all I'm going to say, apart from obviously my score, um, one out of five. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's better than I expected. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. Um, yeah, Actually, yeah bad one. Yeah, thank, thank you. Um, for here's to the night. I just wrote bless him. 
because that has got to be one of the worst songs I've ever heard. Like, I actually, it's got to the point where I just feel sorry for him that he's associated with that. Um, Zoom in, zoom out, I thought was so much better than Here's to the mm. Nights. Still fucking shit, but, you know, let's not focus on that. Um, and Teach Me to Tango, the introduction sounded like a free-for-all in a year eight music class where everyone's yeah. just playing the keyboard at once. <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, and then I put, <laughs> yeah. I need... The sound effects. <laughs> I need to. You just yeah, did a moo at one point. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> whistles, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just put. I need to stop listening to music for today. Yes, that was my overriding thoughts. Did you listen to the reggae one, Callum? Uh, yeah, I did. I mean, I listened to it all somehow. It was only I, tw- um, nineteen minutes or whatever, and God, I was very, very ready for the end. The standout for me was the was waiting for the tide to turn. Um, because it was reggae. I mean, why was it reggae? <laughs> what was it doing? It, it was all seemed to fit together thematically, and then just decided to throw some reggae in there. Um, the solo at the end of "Here's Tonight," "Here's Tonight," I just hated, hate that sound, that guitar sound, and that kind of solo. Uh, and I agree with everything else. It's just shit. Brilliant. I bet so, you'd wish you'd done Justin Bieber, Yanni. I mean, probably would have got some money out of it if I did. Um, Hal's not realised yeah um, didn't get that no he hasn't uh, yeah so that's our three albums or EPs or torture hell that we've had to go through <laughs> um, that's a bit harsh on Bang I, Man. I, we'll, I like you know we'll, ex- Man. Yeah, we'll excuse that it wasn't hell yeah yeah well okay they shouldn't best so far Bang Man. there we go better than one of the Beatles yeah better than the worst Beatle um the, uh, Fox Garden was good. Yeah, but how much was that how much of that was Ringo, let's be honest. Um True. so now we're gonna talk about singles and little bits and bobs that we uh, little bits and bobs. We like the Just sound. Fucking loads, so strap in. Strap it on. So the first one is one we missed from last week, uh, by the group Trampoline, the song O oh Lover. Um I wanna be honest with you, all of these that we're about to talk about, I've only listened to in passing at the very start, <laughs> um, so can't really remember much. I think I like the sound of this one, though. I think it was all right. Yeah. Well, what we'll do, Jan, is you just introduce them all and we'll give our thoughts. Lovely. I, I don't want um, to yeah, so. um, I quite like this. I've you know, I've heard a bit of Trampoline in the past where you discussed their, the poem that they did, the name of it, I can't remember. Um, You've been bouncing but this on is about definitely, them, mate. Yeah, this is definitely my favourite song that they've done. Yeah, that was Paul Yanni. I'm not going to let you yeah, it was, forgive uh, you for that one. Um, yeah, definitely my favourite song by them. Not poem. It was good. The vocal melody I thought was very 2007 indie. Yeah. But that's not a bad thing. Is 2007 indie week? was very good. Yeah, I thought that as well. I yeah, really liked Love the guitar. Good stuff. Yeah, I really liked oh, the, the opening... Riff reminded me a lot of um, Heat Miser's song "Low Flying Jets" from Mike City Sons, which I listened to yesterday. Oh. Very good album. I've I've just uh, been listening to it now, and yes, the opening is is reminiscent of that. Yes, um, but yeah, I I enjoyed the song. I thought it was pretty. It was you know it wasn't the best thing in the universe, but it takes you back to a time. Uh, good music, good vibes, and uh, peace and love. Peace and love, well, baby. Um, the next one. This is now from this week. Opus Kink with the song Wild Bill. HMLTD, this, isn't it? HMLTD slashed with the blinders, I thought. Good song. Very much so. Yeah, good. Do you want to tell us a bit more? (laughs) No, (laughs) that's it. It Sounds like HMLTD. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, But better. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ah. I'm I'm saying, saying, Paul, yeah, we'll it as good as. No. Uh, okay, I think it's wrong. pretty. I think this is really good. I think it's better than bad HMLTD. Yes. yes. Of which there is a lot. Mm, true. Yeah, there you go. Um, Return of the Bunk. Next one. Monks, 100%. I like this. What was that? You only said again. <laughs> yeah, how did you say that word? Monks. <laughs> say again. Mm. One more time. <laughs> just should have listened to him. Mm, uh, you, you, you gonna stick I with that? I like this. I'm gonna run with it. 100. percent Monk. What's it rhyme no, with? Okay. Okay. 
Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Guys, what are your oh, thoughts on this? Silly. Um, again, like I just said, uh, it's a late 2000s indie. Yep. Um, I like it. I think it could have gone a bit further because the synth sound at the start promised quite a lot, which I don't really think it explored. But overall, it was good. Good good vibes, man. Good vibes. <laughs> I agree. I really, like, I really quite liked it. And that was That's Monks, it. everyone. <laughs> uh, the uh, now we've got Cal's favourite band. Oh, he's having a cough of it. Cal's favourite band, Glass Vegas. Uh, I would like to uh, direct the floor to Liam first. Okay, direct. The song floor. is called "Shake the Cage." Brackets for Theo. Um, I uh, really hated this. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> um. Did you? Yeah, no, I just didn't enjoy it. Just didn't enjoy it at all. It reminded me of Arab Strap, partly because it's Scottish, but also just the kind of <laughs> spoken and the <laughs> spoken word and um, kind of dark, gloomy music. But I enjoyed most of Arab Strap's album. This just didn't. I just didn't really care for it at all. I didn't get the point. I didn't listen to the lyrics, so maybe there's a story there. But I oh, just, don't. No, no, no. There's just no point to it to me personally. Uh. Personally, I thought this was massively better than anything they've released for the album so far, uh, just purely because it was so different. Um, I don't know if my voice broke then. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Did it um, did it? Midway through, I f- I said, I hope it doesn't just come to a halt because it felt like it was <laughs> building to something. Then it did. Yep. But then it came back in. Um, and I feel like it could have just gone madder. Like it came back in and it did, it did go heavier yeah. and a bit, you know, the dynamics increased, but I still think it was quite safe. Um, but you know if the majority of the album goes in this direction rather than what they did 10 years ago but worse I think it'll be a better step for them I quite liked it it was good didn't you know it wasn't the best song of the week but it was a pleasant surprise better than it just being a bit droney again yeah wow. I would just rather not have anything um, yeah, what's the next, next, the next one is Halloween's which is a song that is it only on Bandcamp, guys? It is. I did put that. Yeah, no, no. Um, um, yeah, you just put on Bandcamp. I don't know if it was specifically to that, but it is. He's <laughs> just said, um, it "In is. your arms." Cool, yeah? Demo. It's yes. Um, the lead singer and the newest member. Uh, is he a guitarist? No. But what is he? Drummer? I don't know. He's a new member well, of uh, the Vaccines. Don't forget to eat your vaccines, guys. Vaccines Please. save lives. What did you expect from the vaccines? Um, I did not listen to this surprise, surprise. Um, because <laughs> Good God, Yanni. I didn't poor show do it. that. But how was it, guys? Why don't you tell me about the track? Um, I liked it. It was very good for a demo, I thought. Um, mm. Again, this is an album that completely passed me by last year. But based on this demo, uh, someone I'd be a fan of. It's quite... Um, I, don't really know, I don't really know. How to, well, it was piano we wasn't it? It was a mm-hmm. bit like, a bit Cameron Avery vibes, Jan, if you've ever listened to him. He has a... Okay, well, that was that was pointless. It was. Um, I don't know. It was just... It, it was quite like a vaccine slow one, but just piano-based. You know, it was good. Did it have a piano, Cal? <laughs> it had a piano. <laughs> it's based on the piano. <coughs> um, I uh, also quite like this, and I'm... I've seen that they are uh, the Blood Records are releasing that album. Yes. Um, yeah, it's just on black. Black. To a lot of yeah, a lot of dismay from collectors. Uh, they actually pulled it. I don't know if you saw this. They were oh, they announced they were going to do it on black vinyl, and then by sounds of it, a lot of people kicked off because their original c- copy is worth a lot, I suppose. And so they actually said, "Oh, from feedback, we're not going to do it." And then from more feedback, they have said they are going to do it. So they should. So why not? <laughs> Um, it's a bit random it's just on black vinyl though considering they do a lot of weird stuff at Blood Records yeah and the, um, the original pressing's on red vinyl as well oh weird um, that's true but yeah I like this I like this I would go and listen to the album again I did, I've seen the picture of that album a lot on Twitter lately because of yeah. that Blood Records thing mm. and I did not notice it was Justin Young at all yeah I think this is definitely I might listen to it tomorrow because I might treat myself to a bit of music that doesn't make me want to head but walls like Ringo Starr did good idea Ringo, he is silly. Um, Wesley Gonzalez is the next guy. 
with his track Change Your Circumstance. This, I quite liked. Um, I don't have much more to say other than I quite liked it. <coughs> it was alright. If you like Wesley Fonzales, you'll like this. It's very yep, much very, the same thing. Very Wesley. Yep. Very Wesley. Um, creepy artwork. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a bit everything, everything, isn't it? It looks oh, like yeah. it's been done mm. on Blender and just fucked up. <laughs> um, yeah, it had a quite a retro kind of vibe, I thought. Mm. Um, um, yeah. I thought the synth line at the start was quite hard to get on board with because it, I don't know, it just felt like it didn't belong there. Felt out of tune, which... Uh, or, yeah, it's just a lot bit odd, isn't it? it? Yeah, so I think once I got on board with that, I really liked it. I'm a sucker for a Wesley chorus. He's a sucker. I am a sucker. Liam, did you like it? Because I know you're a bit indifferent to Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah, a bit indifferent. I uh, I doff dig this song. You doff? I enjoyed it. I, I really digged it. Oh, wow. D- okay. Dug it. Dug it out. Yeah, I really what, liked it. So I what, might actually revisit the album. What made you yeah. dig it? Love the synth and stuff at the beginning. The bass, mm. um, vocals, the vocal lines. Mm. Do you know what? I think the song. Well... I think I this really could easily song. this could easily have fit on a poor and human, that album. It's not really hmm. different. So if you like this, give the I album should. another go. I, d- I bounced off that album massively, but I... <laughs> if it does sound like this Whoa! then <laughs> <laughs> like a trampoline. Um but I yeah, really like this. Yeah, good. Good yeah. stuff. Glad you liked it, my son. I uh, you know what I'm glad about liking? Um the latest release from Larry Pink the Human. Um 11 11 guitar song is that how we're going to yep. say it? Yeah, yeah, that um, is how it's said. Yeah, thanks. This is well done. extremely better than his yeah. <laughs> first um outing feature. Well, no, there's oh. there's a few, there's a few others. All I right. think this is his fourth release. Oh, is it? Well, I mean, this may as well that, listen to this and just this alone by him because I don't yeah. I don't know if any of the others are as good but it's, it's especially better than the one with Joe from Idols, Idols. Um, this had a very 2007 indie rock vibe for me very yeah, much literally so. you took that out my notes literally 2007 indie I've disco not, I've not even looked 2007 baby golden year <laughs> um, everything about it the guitar tones the actual like riff itself just sounds like it's very much ripped yeah, I mean, out the of that. riff to me i felt i feel like we've uh it sounds like something we'd right <laughs> maybe um I, I don't know why but it reminds me of something we've done i feel the uh the vocals oh, what, what was that band what would you call them um i think they did the song i'm interested to hear this because i feel like i recognized <sighs> what would they be something called Honest, Sing us a song. Did they do it on? on oh yeah, the brave, mistake. the bravery. Yeah, the bravery. I think it might be the bravery. I think it's one of those will... types of bands. Or hard fi. Hard fi. Yeah, I kind of get on board with mm. hard fi a bit more than the bravery. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking of one of those those groups. Um, I can't remember exactly though. But yeah, I think hard fi. I think that's what I was thinking of actually. Bloody would be, wouldn't it? Yeah, it is. It's is definitely that. It's definitely hard by. Anyway, um, did we? Did you guys give your thoughts? Did you say what you liked about it? And stuff. Uh, I just mirror what you said, mate. It's just it's not reinventing yeah. the wheel. I thought that lyrically it was, uh, particularly the chorus. It was quite basic, but I mean, it was good to sing along chorus. After Liam said you don't really get choruses anymore, mm-hmm. it was all right. Yeah, I liked it. Definitely, as will... you say, definitely better than anything he's released under this project so far. I'm going to create a hall of mirrors here because I'm going to mirror that thing. <laughs> wow. Three wow, mirrors, dude. who's looking at who? Who knows? We're looking at you. Who dude. knows? Well, that is strange, Liam. Um, <laughs> baby. Baby. Strange. <laughs> I want to believe that you've just made that up. <laughs> you best believe it, baby. Strange. Strange. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, again, this one's a very typical indie rock thing, isn't it? Yeah. Guys? Yeah. Thought yeah. it was very linear. Um, oh, it got better it's... as it went on. I did like it more as it went on. Um, but 
it's just, it's all right. It's like the last one, just quite average. It was better than what I remember the last one being, but I don't know if I just forgotten. But yeah, I thought it was all right. <laughs> yeah, not very amazing. No, uh, unfortunately not. Cal, I bet you're excited to talk about this next one. It's Black Midi. I am. Yes. Go Despair on. no more. Uh, they've <laughs> released uh, John L, which is going to be from their upcoming album Cavalcade with the non-album B-side Despair. Um, I'll start with John L. Uh, it's bonkers and it's mm. as mad as I'd hoped it would be. Um, it seems like a massive step up. I thought particularly structurally. I thought it seemed like a bit more of a song than some of the ones on Schlagenheim. <laughs> um, but it's still absolutely bonkers, and I love it. Despair is actually quite normal, and that was the biggest surprise for me. Um, but again, I like it. I prefer John L. It's just, I don't know, kind of the bonkers thing I want from Black Midi, really. So, yeah, good stuff. Very tempted to order the vinyl, but it's only on black vinyl or picture disc, and I think I'm going to save my money. Or wait till it's on Amazon for Dead Chief. Yeah, or wait, Love Record something. Store's album of the year thing, if it's nominated for that. Um, which it probably will be, won't it? Yeah, probably. Did you listen to it, Jan, before we go to Liam? Because I know he's... I um, yeah. I did a little bit, yeah. I'm, I don't really know how I feel about Black Midi. Um, mm. There are all those groups that, like... I feel like I, I have to like, I should like, because everyone sort of raves out about them currently. Um, why does Liam look so shocked? I'm not, just now. Okay. Um, <laughs> you won the song at the same time. But the, uh, I only really like Boom Boom Boom. Um, it's more than a purpose. Yeah, that's the only, <laughs> that's the only one I really kind of gel with. Um, I need to, I don't know, I need to spend a bit more time with Black Friday, I think. They've not, um, they've not hit me yet. They've not. Um, mm. That's not the word I'm looking for. But you know what I'm trying to say. I know what you're trying to say. We do incredible, dr- incredible drummer. Oh my god! Yes. Watching my versions is timing. It's just he just plays one whole fill, but he still manages to stay in time. It's mad. Um, Liam, go on. Go on. Give us your thoughts. Um, I've never gelled with I'm kind of the same as Johnny, I've never really gelled with Black Midi um, I was expecting actually John L to be more manic than it was uh, I actually quite enjoyed it I thought it was alright um, Well that's not what you said originally, how dare you yeah, change your no, initial thoughts I think, when, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think when I first mentioned that I, whatever I said I just kind of skipped through it just to get a feeling um, mm. and then listening from listen to it from beginning to end that's obviously the right way to listen to music but it just made a bit more sense to me, so I feel like maybe I should listen to Schlagenheim properly, as definitely. opposed to just I mean, trying to flick for it. Definitely. Um, I mean, you're a massive Black Country New Road fan, and I know that there are differences between them, but I also hear a lot of similarities. Yeah, I, um, I, I get that, but they're just very different to me. Yeah, I get that. I, I, um, Lee Singer's voice is very, Mama. very hard to get. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But um, I think the song's... Doctor, which I mentioned to you, that's mm-hmm. kind of a bit semi-normal. Um, boom, boom, boom is great, yeah. but it's fucking w- weird as fuck. Yeah. And the actual song of Schlagenheim is very good. Yeah. Uh, I particularly like the line that he dreams of a woman with the teeth of a raven and the hands of a porcupine. Oh yeah, I do like that. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Actually. That's a good song. That is a good song. Um, um, hang on. Yeah, Before I'm not go. going. Just... Oh, sorry, I thought you were moving on. No. Um, so yeah, I quite like John L. Um, I really, really like Despair because it makes sense that I'm not a massive fan of the manicness of their normal music. So Despair was really good, and his mm-hmm. voice just sounded better in that. In John L. and I guess his normal stuff, their normal stuff. Sorry, he reminds me of uh, Les Claypool from um, Primus. He sings a bit like that. Kind of like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> If you listen to like uh, Jerry was a race car driver or something, you can definitely see the resemblance. Um, and I like that, so I feel I, I like Primus, so I think I could get into Black Midi and get into his voice. So, yeah, well, very good. Oh, very indeed. Very good. Moving on. Very good. We are moving on. I better put on my new blue suit. Um, we've got a song by Matt Sweeney 
featuring Bonnie Prince Billy. Yeah. Not featuring. It's a joint project. Oh, well, it doesn't show f- for me that way, I don't think. I'm sure it is. I'm sure they've announced an album and they're doing a tour together and stuff, I believe. Well, isn't that sweet of them, eh? Isn't that lovely yeah. that they'd, they'd do something like that? It is. It is joint. I don't know why I saw it before. Um, Bonnie so Prince Billy's getting around. He's everywhere. I feel like he's in every release. What was he on recently? He's on all those ones with uh, Bill Callahan, all the covers. We did the Silver Jews one. We did all the them ones. Ones. Oh, yeah. Tyson Gold one. Uh, he's also done Steve. something else I've seen recently. I mean, he's not everywhere, but I feel like I've seen him on a few different projects. Uh, what do you think good. of this project, Liam? I like it. I thought it was nice. I thought it was quite... Um, I don't know. It just felt like, reflective and kind of calm, and I liked it. I thought musically it was really good. I, mean, I know Matt Sweeney is a good guitarist, um, as he's in everything as well, it seems. Whenever there's some sort of grouping together of different musicians, Matt Sweeney's involved in some way. Um, yeah, I like it. I'm glad you do. Wow. Thank that you. was That was good. I did not like this. I thought it was boring as shit. Yeah, I didn't think you well, would. <laughs> Uh, it's not my type of thing at all, but I didn't hate it, but I didn't particularly like it either. I thought it was very, oh brother, where art thou, if you've ever seen that film. Have you ever seen no. that film? We're a music no. podcast, don't talk to me about films. Fuck well, it's a, music, film. it's a musical, George Clooney, it's good. It's a good I only film. watched Grease, sorry. <laughs> and High School Musical. That's all he watches. Grease is the word. <laughs> and Hannah Montana <laughs> movies. That's <laughs> the word. Um, hey, come on guys, we've got to keep on moving. Um, to jungle the jungle on, with their latest song Keep Moving what do we wow. think about this because uh, I was just going to say since their first album which I like a lot um, mm-hmm. I've not really given them much more attention because nothing I've heard has ever really grabbed me um, mm. I'm the same I think I just, I'm the same as well this didn't grab me either to be honest um, I thought it was funky and the bass was lovely. However, mm. just overall, it was just a bit. You know, it was it was all right. Yeah. I wouldn't actively go out my way to put it on. The tune, the tune "Busy Earning" off their first record is tip top. Fat, but it, it was all right. You know, I think it's it'd well, be good live, but it's just, yeah, all right. It's a well crafted tune. It's easy to yeah. it'll be easy to have on the background in the summer, you know. Mm. Which is why it's weird that it's coming out in the end of the middle of August. But um It's fuming yeah, about that. Uh, absolutely fume it, mate. Um <laughs> but it didn't blow me socks off. Did you hear the um the <laughs> track before it dry your tears? No. Uh, it's like a short intro yes. track. Uh like a minute twenty. Um nothing like exciting. It just kind of um it's like a cinematic build up. Kind of, and just a few words. <laughs> but uh, I think it'd be, I think it'll be a good album. They're good musicians, I guess. It's going to be good. It's just whether it's going to be mind blown or not. Yeah, I reckon. Mm. Yeah, it'd be good, won't it? But I, yeah, I don't. Nothing they've done since that first album has ever really got got the same response from me personally. Um. Oh God, we're here. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh Jesus! You want an easy life? Well, you're not going to get it if you listen to this band. Um, a message to myself, which should read: "Stop making songs." Um, it's just crap, isn't it? Uh, yeah, just crap. I I am yet to hear a good song by this band How that has really not changed. Them. I absolutely. Oh, I don't know why. I think it's like that bad. To you. They really bother me. I don't know why I they're hate very hate popular. Them. I know they're popular and that I think that's what bugs me. But there are certain like demographics band, if that makes sense. You can see their fans if you close Fourteen your eyes. year olds. Um yeah, mostly kind of teenagers, TikTokers. Gen Z. They're very Gen Z indie Gen bands. Z. They're the new neighbourhood. The neighbourhood. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. I've never listened to Neighbourhood, but Liam, it's the same. You're talking From five crazy. years ago, it's the same demographic, but now, as easy. Yeah. Like. I hated it, and I really don't want to have to listen to their album. We just won't, and that's that. No, we just won't. 
It's a short song as well, just over two minutes. Yeah, two. And this is like a single. Hmm. Bit weird. Very well, weird. I mean, radio is fast, isn't it? Speedy, speedy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on before I get sad. Oh. Um. Well. Yeah. Dry cleaning <laughs> have done a cover of the crime song Oblivion, which I know Liam likes a lot. Oh, yeah. He loves that original song. So good. Um, what did you think of the cover, Liam? How did you think it held up? Um, it was weird because it was just so much slower. Um, but it wasn't. Yeah. I mean, musically they didn't do a lot. Um, don't know. It was pretty. They made it pretty boring, I guess. It was interesting to hear it in a different way. Um, probably worth saying that this one and the next one are both from a series of covers for Four AD, the label. It's like their anniversary or something, I think. So. Um, I guess new 4AD artists are covering old 4AD artists, something like that. Um, so this is the first of two we'll talk about today. Um, but yeah, I love that original. That um, that Grimes album is really good. Um, and that song is very, very good. And I just kind of was missing some of that for me, really. Mm. It was good. It was fine. I didn't hate it. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've ever actually heard that Grimes song before. I don't think I've ever listened to Grimes. Well, you crazy you're missing out. I know. She's a great musician. <laughs> but obviously, due to this, I went back and listened to the original, and okay. there's absolutely no contest in which one's better. <laughs> the original. Yeah. I didn't it, it, like like you. I I didn't not like it, but it didn't do anything for me. And that was even I listened to the to the original after the cover, mm-hmm. um, and I still didn't really like the song before hearing the original so i mean i like the song but you know i didn't like their version as well as well yeah that's what he means what, now boy what color is he that didn't moon? need the original to compare to make the f- cover seem bad is what you're saying isn't it um i wasn't listening to you then but i'm just going to agree with you perfect yes well, Cal says yes oh, everyone um what color is the moon guys can someone tell me um you, like tomato cheese isn't it so what are you yellow <laughs> That's it's great, great to you, isn't it, Jan? Yes, everything's great to me. But to you guys, ask, what would it be? Taste swizzle, she'll tell you. <laughs> the moon is uh, blue, blue Yanni. Fucking hell, blue. the moon is blue. <laughs> Jesus. Um, Future Islands, it's a cover. Yep, uh, original song by Colorbox. Go on, someone take the floor. Take it and I direct it. Loved it. Oh. So much. Oh, it's just it's just a great cover. Really liked it. I think that I thought they made it their own, but they also kind of. I think this is better than anything off their last album. Like, it was actually exciting. It wasn't just I don't know. It, it just it wasn't just predictable. I don't know if that makes sense. Whereas I think their last record was very like one dimensional. It was good. Yeah. Liked it. Liked it a lot. Have you heard the original, Carl? Yes. Uh, also a great tune. Yep. But um, this, um, I, I'm this cover would stand on its own in my head if that makes yeah. sense. Just I up. agree. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <Jason> <laughs> I don't know what you said. I said Jason Derulo. All oh, right. Um, I head. I agree wholeheartedly. Uh, I think it was a very good cover. Um, and could definitely stand on its own. I very much like the color box original. Uh, I put these two on. There are there were a couple more released this week, but I recognised both the cover bands and the original band, so I thought it was um, worth covering these two. But yeah, I think it was a brilliant cover, and I think it yeah stands alone. Um, just everything about it, the bass synths and stuff, his voice sound fantastic. The way mm-hmm. they just recomposed it is really good. There's also part um, I don't know if it's the chorus. There's parts of it that remind me of Arctic the Monkeys, like AM era. Um, um, where the bass okay. and Go the way wrong. he's singing, the vocal line. Um, I'll uh, I'll find the exact point. Have and a I'll nap. let you know. Think, think no, about I'll, that I'll find the point and I'll let you to, know because it genuinely. Every time I've listened to it, it makes me think of like Fireside, kind of. Or you something are from AM. so crazy. I'm gonna have to start giving you weird looks. Time out. Um, you, you know, did you listen to that, Yanni? No. Uh, I didn't like it to be honest. Oh, of course. 
I didn't didn't gel with me. Um so speaking of not really being asked about something, um this remix of the song The Look by Metronomy. The remix was done by MGMT. Uh, it's a, the, 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 I'll just start again with that to make more sense of it. <laughs> Metronomy <laughs> song <laughs> The oh, Look please. was remixed please. by MGMT. And Management. I thought it was a bit pointless. Mm. I think, th- I assume the point is that it's because it's their anniversary. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be on the no, I think it's just demos on the anniversary edition, maybe. So this might be on there. But go on, Carl, what were you going to say? Well, I am not particularly a seasoned Metronomy fan. However, you have recently made me a playlist, Liam. Oh, yes. Go on, tell um, us about the playlist, Carl, before you tell us about the song. Um, oh, have I still got me got favourites? I'm not going to read off all my favourites, but I presume this was on there. Um, no, it wasn't. Oh. Wow. Well, there we are. Well, well, did you? What, I did. What I, your overall view of Metronomy now after listening to the playlist. Um, well, I, I I enjoyed the playlist a lot. There was a, uh, there was quite a few that stood out to me more than others. Um, and you only gave me like the best of, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Um, or maybe the most yeah. accessible, maybe not necessarily the mm, best of. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of standouts for me. Apparently, this wasn't one. But listening back to this, I liked this original tune. So. Yep. Maybe I just forgot to put it on. Um, so I liked this quite a lot. It was groovy. I actually wrote groovy tits. Um, <laughs> don't know why. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I liked it. So, But I could understand why you two might have more of an affinity to the original and then not be able to see the point in this remix. Um, so correct me if I'm wrong on that, but am I wrong? No, for me, you're not wrong anyway. Don't about the end. Uh, no, you are wrong. I, um, I was going to say I prefer to the original, but I don't know if I do, but I thought it was a really good remix. I thought it was brilliant. Um, mm. I feel like it kind of keeps the MGMT feel. It reminds me of a little Dark Age in ways. I don't know I don't know how, but something they've done makes it sound like an MGMT song. Although it's, it's pretty much all the original material. There's nothing new in there. Yeah. Um, but I just like the um, the new... It's funkiness, I guess. It's just different, and I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was a bad remix at all. I, I can see what you mean by pointless, Yanni, as in, like, it's not that different to the original. No. But it, it seems like, is different. I mean, from what I <laughs> skimmed through listening, it took a while to get going anywhere. Like, it was mainly just the, the synth, dun, 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 that yeah. bit. And then halfway in, then it sort of just played the original song, mm. more or less. With like, it was a like a build of up. other synths and stuff going on, but it nothing yeah. too new. Like I, I don't know. I just yeah, it wasn't an, different enough for me to yeah to like it really. I just well the last the, the last two minute the last two minutes or so of it were by far and away the best part of it. But off the top of my head, I can't determine how different it is from the original. So I do get where you're coming from. It felt very metronomy to someone who doesn't really listen to metronomy as much as you you know what i mean mm. yeah like it didn't it to... feel like if if that had just been said that it was metronomy i would never have been like ah oh, mgmt have worked on this yeah i think it almost could have just been an original metronomy song yeah that's what that's what i meant i just didn't articulate it very well <laughs> <sighs> so that was our thoughts on that now we return to one of our favorite artists and this is her song last day on earth yep um (sighs) yeah that's my thoughts um so it started off exactly how i imagined it would if i you know was lying back on my bed and i was gonna try and envisage a beaver doobie song I actually quite liked it until the chorus. The chorus was hideous. It was just sha la 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 or whatever it was, just over and over. Okay. Um, and you know, if you're not gonna write a, if you're not gonna write a chorus, just don't just do that. Don't just make noises. <laughs> um, just don't. Um, Stop. You can very Somehow. you can very much tell that <laughs> you can very much tell that George and Matty from the 1975 uh, helped to write it. 
and produced oh, yeah. it. She needed help without... writing this. I didn't know that. God. Well, yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. Oh, well, her, she's got a writing credit. How much she did, I don't know, because it's very the 1975, as we say all the time about dirty fit artists. Mm-hmm. Um, dirty, uh... But it it wasn't bad. It just wasn't good. I, I'd say it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I listened to it, I thought oh, this is just the same old shit. Um, and I didn't realise the 1975 involved, and that makes absolute sense. But then I had it on. I was in. I was doing the dishes in the living room and oh, domestic goddess. <laughs> not in the kitchen. You know me. Um, in the kitchen, sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was outside uh, doing the dishes. <laughs> I was out in the bath doing dishes, um, and it was on in another room, and I actually liked it then. <laughs> when you can hear it properly, like it's 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 quite an all right tune. Do you know what I mean? It's fine. It's nothing I, amazing. Again. I feel like, and hear me out on this one. If you're not made to listen to it, it's better. Yeah, it sounds like just noise. If you don't, if you don't pay attention, it's just like, it's just noise. It was the other way around. Mm. It was when I was listening to it, I just felt like it was pure noise. And then when it was in the background, I heard if I felt like I could hear her more, and it was a bit more interesting. Fair so, enough. Um, I'd like to quickly just talk about the video because it made okay. it made me cringe so much. Oh, uh, okay. The the introduction, she gets a text, and from someone says, "What are you doing tonight?" And then her response was getting high motherfucker and it just made oh, me want oh, no. to, it just Please made me want to die real. It, yeah it oh, made me want to die i take and then, any positive comments and then there was um i'm gonna have to watch this right now yeah there too. was some talk of there was like pill taking in the video she's in the back of a car smoking a doobie it <laughs> just a doobie a fat doobie uh, she's uh, fat smoking a beaver doobie fat jay Oh, smoking hey. a beaver doobie. <laughs> what's that? What's that video? Please, I did this to Molly the other day and I couldn't remember it and she just thought I was fucking weird. What is that video of that kid tonight? Rolling doobies. What does he say? Shock, doobies. Shocking boobies. Shocking boobies. boobies. <laughs> <laughs> I just shocking turned around boobies, to him and I went, boobies. shocking boobies, rolling doobies. And she <laughs> what? <laughs> what not? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll never forget that video. Uh, but yeah, the um, there was parts of the video that were actually quite cool visually, but it oh, oh it was oh, it made me fucking oh Ill. my god get in hand with a fucker oh, that was get in hand with a fucker that was so bad yeah that was that really yeah awful. Um, um, I really hate it. Oh, something I've so thought cool. about doing throughout oh, lockdown don't. getting a bloody buzz cut I'm never gonna get a buzz cut that was a joke I like having long hair. But it's very long. Buzz cut by Brockhampton, don't they? Um, featuring Danny Brown. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I just put, I don't know how I feel. <laughs> yeah. I think that's my um, takeaway too. I, it was all right. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. But I also hated it and I also loved it. I. Um, it wasn't the type of Brockhampton that I like. I've never listened to them before. so. Um, Agreed. What with my obviously my yours, yeah, it's, it's yeah. The... go on to current return, I'll jump in. That well that was more or less it really. Um oh. it's not the type of Brockhampton that I'm a fan of. So yeah. I was kinda of hoping Danny Brown would be make it more interesting. Um other than his like inflection. Um it doesn't really do much either. Like it's yeah. I don't know, I'm not really indifferent. I'm the same. I quite like some of Brockhampton stuff and I liked Danny Brown's album you know what I'm saying um, but yeah this sounds like Brockhampton but the Brockhampton that I don't like which is most <laughs> which is most of it but then they do have some really good standout tracks um, so yeah it's a very standard Brockhampton I feel like the last few have been a bit like this um, yeah yeah you know yeah you know yeah you know so um, that was it. Um, <laughs> that was everything. We're near the end, ladies and gentlemen. We are. We're, it, there seems to be a lot, doesn't there, of uh, just singles. Let's just run through these quickly, uh, unless we have anything meaningful to say. Blocks. Everything I've learned. Don't know. Can't remember this. So anyone? Uh, yeah, anyone? very, very meh. Okay, right. Where did right. you get right. this from? Where did you get this one from? Uh, well, they're at Neighborhood, and I follow Neighborhood Festival on right. Twitter, oh, so, and they tweeted saying another 
Killer Indie Chorus or something? Yeah, it was. was it? Oh, maybe no, not. it wasn't. Okay. Um, it was. It was alright. I didn't think it was that yeah, bad. Yeah, it, it was alright. It was pretty. <laughs> right, Porridge Radio. It's something I'd expect to hear on Radio X. Go on, right. Porridge Radio. Your favorite band, Cal? Porridge Radio. Go for it. Porridge Radio. Um, they're not my favorite band. I just liked Every Bad. Uh, it's a good band. tune. I think it could have gone on Every Bad quite easily. It's a good addition to the extended album, but didn't take my breath away. Boom, boom. Agreed. <laughs> All right, Basil. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about it, that's Basil what the song is called, by the way. Basil the Brush. Sorry, Liam. For our younger viewers, that's Basil Brush. I don't know if he's still around. Not Basil uh, Balty. I feel like we're, we're old enough now to... <laughs> for our Talk about viewers. the war. And <laughs> any viewers under 40, uh, that's Basil Faulty from Faulty Dots. What a show. Flowery twats. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um... <laughs> Next, <laughs> well, you know on um, the Is that the, the Br- Blippi Clary album, yeah, that's it. That's the one. Yeah, that's it. Well, on Faulty Towers, the the sign for the hotel changes every time, doesn't it? And yep. they wrote flowery twats on it because it's a planogram, which was of course an uproar on the BBC in the seventies or whenever it was released. Yeah. Um, a little bit of love. Mm. Um, the RuPaul thing that we mentioned in the intro that we said we hadn't listened to. Okay. By the power of editing, we've all listened to it. <laughs> oh, here we are, ten years later. By the power um, of editing. We actually started the first half of this before Drag Race started. Uh, we've watched the whole <laughs> series. This was recorded in 2006. Um, the beginning of this. <laughs> believe it or not. Um, com- considering this was the final. Compa- it was shit. Um, I think we've been blessed with UK Hun, because that was... Superb. Um, every verse was is, <laughs> yeah, it's superb. I will, I will die on that hill. <laughs> I want to get pissed to that song. What a fool! Yeah, um, I agree. That. Um, this was just bad. There was no stand-up verse. The the actual original song is a bop, you know, pre-drink banger, but not good. I feel the love. <laughs> Anyone? Wow. Uh, yeah. Um, I I agree. I think the original the, the song is good, but the uh, finest verses weren't great. And when they performed it live uh, on BBC, non- uh, nonetheless, um, the, Bebs. the they somehow didn't sync up the audio with the video. So for <laughs> uh, four drag queens that are lip sync into the song, uh, it just wasn't very good. Um, and so it was even worse. Yanni, on, you guys. listened to this for the first time. I so I did listen to it. The chorus again. I'm just. And mirroring everyone's previous thoughts. Um, Good God. <laughs> God, indeed. <laughs> He's mighty. Um, it, the chorus is fine. <laughs> um, the yeah, verses that's not the part we're on about. Were shit. Um, I, the, the, uh, rhyming couplets, the uh, the delivery, um, <laughs> the what the fuck is going on um, anymore with this. Yeah, it wasn't very good. So, you know, don't listen to that. No, um, Liam, just before we move on, Liam, can you remember the rhyming thing that you said before? Oh, yeah. so... um, from I'm from uh, from from Dundee to London. Yes, I'm well travelled. Um, look at this wig; it's not frazzled. Some of that. <laughs> there just weren't enough syllables in there at all. And that's why Eddie Diamond came. Forward. And they always have a weird inflection. Da 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 da. It's always like always. <laughs> they always like finish on a high. It's very weird. Drag queens always do that, all of them, every single one. I'm going to say we've saved the best track to last because Possibly. wow, I bloody love this next one. That <laughs> yeah, next one being Find My Way. Um, it's a new song off the reimagined uh, album uh, that old Macca is um, going to release. This one featuring Beck. This is a feature. It's not an and. It's not a with. It's a feature. This is very good, and I, it makes me very excited um, for the actual album, considering how good um, Kiss of Venus was. I've gone back and listened to that quite a bit um, this past week, Kiss of Venus. Um, it is the original or the Dominic Fike? No, no, Dominic Fike one. The original wasn't it. Oh, cool. Who has? Uh, Dominic Fike one is very good. Um, yep. And this, this one with old Beck is uh, also extremely good. Guys, please tell me your thoughts. Well, I agree with you. Uh, we listened, well, I listened to this in the same um, same 
part where Yanni listened to Love by Love. Um, so I've only heard it once, but it is a very good. The bass sounds bloody tasty. And it's shaping up to be a very good, co- well, not covers album, but covers album. You know what yeah. I mean? Yep. Um, I also only listened to it in that little section, and I also listened to the RuPaul one at the same time, so I only skipped through this. Um, at the same time? That was confusing. At the same time. Yeah, no, it was madness. Um, I thought Paul McCartney was on Billy Jog Race for a second. Um, <laughs> this one is featuring Beck, but I didn't hear Beck, and he sounded like he probably did the music. Which is a weird thing to say you featured. I don't know. You didn't hear that? Usually if someone's featured, uh, well, not skipping through it, so maybe he was there. But if he, if it says he's featured, you'd think he was just vocals on there. But I assume he did the the remix of you the need to, song. You need to listen to the song because you can hear back. Okay. Okay. Maybe it's my fault. Actually, but unless maybe, it, yeah. unless maybe <laughs> Maka rewrote the music. Possibly. Uh, no, it sounds very I think much it's like strange. Beck doing. I just think it's strange that it's featuring Beck and not with Beck or and Beck. Well, you can't, don't, Jesus, don't make this it. claim when you've listened to it for about a minute and the song's five minutes. Right, okay. Yeah. Right. Listen to it again, right. mate, and then come back to us. Um, but not in the podcast because people don't want to hear you anymore. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll talk about it in the intro next week. Maybe. We've reached that Maybe. moment in time. That's right, in time and space where we now must gaze upon... This week's album, Spotlight. Yanni! Oh, no. <laughs> That's not how it works. Callum, 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 Callum. No, Liam. Liam. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the album Spotlight. We are going to be covering on our album Spotlight, written and directed by Black Honey. See what I did there? Um, nope. Numer- okay, so <laughs> this album, what? Black Honey, I've never heard of them before. Musically, I have seen their name on this album around for a while because I think, again, this is a Blood Records campaign. So I feel like I've seen it a lot and that's why I saw it. I thought uh, this week, I thought, oh, we should cover that. I've seen a lot of it, but um, I should just stay off social media and just look for good music, I think, because I didn't like this album, personally. No, you're not the only one, mate. No. Um, I mean, it was kind of like, okay. Yeah, and I listened to the full thing and didn't want to, uh, didn't want to um, <laughs> throw anything at myself. <laughs> <laughs> but I finished Christ, before, save them, mate. I thought, okay, that was it. And there were some songs um, that midway through I thought, <laughs> including the first, um, second, and six, seven, eight. I don't know most of them um but yeah didn't really like it that much uh i haven't got much more to say than that thank you for listening wow that was uh succinct. god that was quick cal <laughs> take it away um i'm gonna g- give a bit more Different. of an in-depth dive mm. um, i don't think we need any more no. deep i think i covered it all i like the way you die i thought was a decent well opener. fuck you <laughs> run for cover Maybe. is a massive sound of the underground ripoff by girls aloud um the, the initial riff is just down and down. It's literally yes. carbon yeah. copy. Um, it's just very surf rock, isn't it? Like yeah, I thought it had a decent chorus. Beaches, again, it was all right. Um, I At this point, I had Deja Vu on every track so far. Mm. Um, initially, I wasn't sure if it's because I'd heard it before or if it was just very similar to every other song in existence. Um, but it turned out... Um, Beaches was released last July and Run For Cover was released last September, so I probably had heard it on the radio. But that doesn't take away from the fact that it sounds like everything ever. Back to the Bar was the weakest so far. Um, Believe It and I Do It To Myself were unmemorable. Disinfect was another good tune. I thought at this point the album was potentially going to come back into enjoyment. It did not. Summer 92 was bang average. Fire... I questioned whether or not I started listening to Tom Grennan again. Where the hell did all them horns and stuff come from? What was that? Where did that have any place on this album? Very strange. Uh, And the closer, Gabrielle, initially, I did what you did, Liam, uh, on an album we mentioned before. Uh, I had this on shuffle by accident, and this came on straight after I Love the Way You Die. So I was very confused because it's very, very acoustic. I was like, what the fuck? Um... 
I thought it was a decent closer. I liked the slower vibe of it. Um, I thought describing Gabrielle as caramel as a rhyming thing was pain-inducing. Perfect. I like um, that. You can't go back Did you? That. I like that, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Um, and I think the album needed another song like this because it was kind of just, you know, full steam ahead until the weird Tom Grennan song and then this. Um, but it was very, very average, very basic, very linear. Glad it was only 30 minutes. Um, wow, thank you, Carl. Um, oh, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you, Carl. That was exactly the speed that I wanted it to be at. Um, I like the way you die. Haha, <laughs> insert joke. Um, Not funny, parts of that, I don't know about you guys, fell out of time. Um, like with one another, remember. with other musical elements, they fell out of time. Uh, Run for cover, like the guitar tone, thought the chorus was all right. Uh, beaches, I just like the drum sound. Now, to completely um, oppose what you said, Cal, Back of the Bar was actually my favourite song on the whole album. Um, I like the bass. I like the vocal melody. I like them combined. It reminded me a little bit, and I don't know why, of Black Sheep by Metric. It might have yeah, been I, the vocals. I got that somewhere on this album, so it might have also been this song. It's probably that one. Um and yeah, I, I I like that one. I, I thought it, there should be more of that kind of vibe, personally. Um, Believer sounded too standard, like most of them. Um, although I did put, I like the horn inclusion post chorus. That was only what mm-hmm. I liked. I do it myself, too standard, and also sounds like just by Radiohead in the chorus. <laughs> um, <laughs> Disinfect, cool bass line, too heavy? Question mark. I thought it was too heavy. Um, <laughs> got that, thank you. <laughs> and I've just put my final notes there. Everything sounded like a lesser version of songs I've already heard. Um, mm-hmm. There weren't enough original ideas to keep me interested in the whole thing. Um, if I was to save anything, it would be Back of the Bar. That's the only song I actually liked when I heard it. Wow. You were acting shocked, but I did actually say that like a couple of minutes ago, Cal, and you just I heard him say it, Cal, I'm over Mars, I did say it. Thanks for not paying attention. Yeah, uh, sorry, mate. Back of the bar. I, I just one lap, sorry, I do apologise. Yep. Um, it's not good enough. So, yeah, ratings, Liam, hit me with it. Uh, I'm going to give it a bang on five. Cal? Six. Oh, okay, feel like you're being generous. I'm going to give it a five. Um, again, bang average. It's It's not bad, but it's not good. So yeah. that makes it average. Liam, uh, give me... Yeah. No, do, no, do you know what? Five. Oh, I was being no, generous. Callum, no, Callum, no, you've locked in, you've locked in, you've locked in. He, he, hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't. Okay, okay. No, he didn't lock in. Uh, he didn't oh, lock I, in. Don't I don't care. I don't care. Five. I want this. Easy, I want this for the range, boys. Mode. <laughs> five. Medium. Five. Mean. Five. Range. Oh. Oh, shocker, it's a shocker. Just listen, if you're a range fan, just skip ahead 15 seconds. You don't want to hear this. It's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Wow. Buckle. <laughs> Brilliant. Sorry, nothing that, for the miners. And that brings an end to this lovely segment, Black Honey's album written and directed with a lovely three out of five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> as we move on to our not brand new segment anymore, but it's still slightly new. It's unsigned, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. We are here in the land of unsigned artists and we're here to promote them because (laughs) we have lots of listeners, obviously. Uh, (laughs) So um, this week, the armchair captains have been generous enough to send us a track of theirs. Uh, entitled A Bridge. Um, this is a song from their forthcoming fourth EP of the year. Yep. Um, wow. Which is relentless. Entitled Off the Hook. Yep. I like bloody. Um, I can't think of the fucking name. King Gizzard, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizards. <laughs> if it was the fucking. Don't know what to my voice. Then. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, fun fact the band are planning on releasing 12 EPs in 12 months with each one being a different genre. So if that doesn't sound interesting, then you're boring. Frankly. <laughs> yeah. You're very boring. Um, a little bit about them. 
they began as a covers band on the slopes of Snowdonia. Was that taken directly from their... From their Spotify, mate, yeah. Yeah, okay. From, from the slopes, slopes of Snowdonia. Of Snowdonia. Um, but relocated to Liverpool in 2018. Um, guys, tell the people about this song. Tell them what to expect when they listen to this song, when it's out. What can they expect from it? Um, Great. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, you threw me under the bus and Liam's not talking. I'm going to edit this bit out. Anyway, I know so. that Calm's got more notes on this than I have. So. Um, yeah, I've actually made notes and I just wasn't reading them. Um, I quite liked, well, this song in general. I don't really know what genre it would be. What genre would you describe it as? I wouldn't. You wouldn't. <laughs> genre genreless. Okay, well I really enjoyed this genreless song. Um but I really like the jazzy elements of it, which is yeah, something. It's kind I'm, of like some sort of like oh, yeah, um, I was I'd finished that more than free jazz kind of um it's almost uh it reminds me of like scar but not scar. I don't know, it's got that kind of yeah. um I get you. you know what I mean? Party vibe. It's got I like wasn't party, listening to anything you said. <laughs> party uh, party dudes vibe, it feels like. Party dudes, yeah. That's Beach the party, party dude vibe. genre. Beach party vibe. <laughs> We're talking with party dude genre. That's what it is. Um, um, I'll finish the sentence that you so rudely interrupted. Uh, but me saying that I thought that the jazzy elements were like one of my favourite parts of a song is something I never ever thought I'd say. I feel like I must be growing up. That's all I was gonna say. But <laughs> pointless. But I was set on my set. I was intent on finishing well, my sentence. I hope you're happy with that review. Uh, <laughs> armchair captains. Yeah, um, I particularly enjoyed the uh, higher vocals at the end of the song. Um, I really thought high pitch vocals. I should say. Um, I thought it added a lot of depth and it contributed to quite a nice outro of the song. Um, I don't know, it just kept itself exciting the whole way through. Didn't feel like it was just, you know, first chorus, first chorus, done. It was nice. I enjoyed I, it. I got a vibe, Liam, and Calv. You probably also know this song. Um, I think it's just, I think it's Candy by Palomatini. In Love I Was Created and In Love Is How I Hope I Die. Or is that a different song? No, no it's a different same, song. That, that, no, that is the same song. Oh, is it? That vibe... Um, or just particularly it's, that section of that song, I think it's just a drum, the constant t- 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 that bit. Um, it sounds quite um, sixties mm. inspired yeah. for me. That's that's how I'd put it. Uh, I wouldn't say it was genreless. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, I quite quite enjoyed it. Um, I think maybe I think it sounded a bit too clean for my liking. Um, I think I would have liked it a bit more rough around the edges, but I think that's only partly down to the fact that it gives me like the sixties recording vibe, and obviously everything was a little bit more it sounded a bit rough. Um, mm-hmm. Whereas this sounds very, very clean, very polished. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is a compliment to them. It is, yes. Um, I don't think it was um, portrayed as one, way. but it is. Yeah. A, you know, it is a compliment. Um, I'll see um, you. Um, fact hunter that I am. <laughs> I um only one laughing sound... at your joke. <laughs> 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 yeah, does that not sound like something else? Fact hunter. Um, fact hunter. Yeah. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Um, it was coming up easy by Palmatini. Not. Ah. Sorry. Well, I completely forgot about that. Um. Um. I'm sorry. Oh, I only listened to this um once. So um. I don't necessarily have anything more to add, but but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the vocal lines, um, and the song just kind of goes, and I like that. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I know think that's, mean, a, just... that's a simple way of saying what you said, where it keeps itself interesting. I guess. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, um, we didn't mention this, I don't think, unless Hal did when I wasn't listening to him. Um, but it <laughs> will be dropping this EP, which it's featured on, will be dropping on April the first, um, and that won't be a joke. That won't be a fool's. That will actually we're, the full, be... we're the only fools here, baby. We are. Funny enough, we're actually going to be recording or releasing the podcast on that day, I believe. Oh, yeah. Um, one of the two. <laughs> it's recording, recording or... We'll be recording. Next. Recording. Yeah. Or will we? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, look out for that. And if you see it, watch you don't get hit by it. Um, 
it can come at you very quickly, um, like a, a moving bus, stand out of the way. Um, actually, no, that's bad. That sounds like you should stay away from the song. I don't know. Uh, if you think that we delivered this very well, which I know it's, we haven't at all, um, <laughs> then please send in your um, songs. I promise that I personally will spend more time actually <laughs> listening to it, for one, and giving you more of a platform than what we've currently given this this poor group. Um, I think I'm going to keep an eye out on their other releases yep. and just see what other genres they hope for. And if there is anything interesting, then I think it might be worth us just saying, "Oh, well, they've got this out at the moment." Well, uh, we'll now. cover this. We might as well cover this EP. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, Anything that's a good idea anything? because we'll we've all that. been quite, we've all been quite rushed. We mm. will, we will focus on the whole EP mm. next week in our heart of the press section. But we're here to tell you, April, be ready, April first. Be ready. Or for don't. It. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, but I, I, I'm definitely oh, interested what? to hear the. I mean, there's so there's three other ones, and there's going to be eight more. Mm. Um, I might go back and listen to the other three. Um, if they're different yeah. genres, because I think musically, like they're very, very talented. Um, it does know, sound very talented. Um, yes. Very well made and stuff. So it'd be interesting to see what else they've kind of gone through. The uh, album art uh, from their other stuff looks pretty cool as well. That doesn't mean anything, but um, <laughs> they've actually sent us the album art when, while we've been yeah. going. Oh, have they? Yeah, yeah. Um, which we'll put on our socials um, Sneak peek for y'all to see. Um, but yeah, that was that segment yeah, yeah. A- again. Send us your um, your unsigned, tr- you know, artists. If you're in a band that is unsigned, please send your latest releases, preferably latest releases or upcoming releases, should I say? Um, mm-hmm. Because we like to be ahead of it, so we can warn people. Mm-hmm. Um, not warn them. Maybe I don't know. Tell them to keep an ear out. Maybe. Alert people. Alert. Without doubt. Yes, without a single strand of doubt. But unfortunately, speaking of without single anything's, um, we must move on to our next segment. Under the needle. And that is it for under the needle. Yeah, there you go. that's what I was hoping you'd say. <laughs> that was easy, right? We didn't buy anything. We're poor. Well, I'm poor. No. I've just spent lots of money on a Mac. Um, <laughs> so I can't... Have... Actually, no, I did buy... Uh, we've all mentioned this. We've bought records. We've got some coming. Yeah. So next yeah. week, everything crossed, if you can. Should be jam-packed. Yeah, we oh. definitely should have stuff next this week. This is jam-hot. So, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this, what seemed like a very long podcast. I don't know about you guys. Yep. It seemed to have gone on for a long time. Um, I actually think this is significantly shorter than quite a few recent ones. What was it? Do we have an album spotlight for next week or should we just tell everyone that's listening right now to keep an eye out on our social? I assume... Well, we could do that. It's going to be Ben Howard though, isn't it? Well, oh. it's either going to be Ben Howard or Bull, which we've done a few of their songs. I'd probably say Ben Howard. I'll take Bull. Thank you. Yeah, well, um, there was one by First Aid Kit coming yep. out, which is apparently a Johnny Cash covers. Is it Johnny oh, Cash? I, didn't know that. I knew that. Uh, but it's tw- I, 20, yeah. 20 Johnny Cash songs, I think. So oh, that's pretty cool. No. Um, <laughs> there's <laughs> there's another one, one, a Dream Pop one um, that I'm going to take, but I can't remember who it's by. Real Estate. Um, I've got an EP coming Real out. Estate. That's who it was. I'm having them. Yeah. I'm so having like them their last song, though, I'm sure. Mm. I'm sure we covered Did their I? last single. Um, oh. So it looks like Album Spotlight ben next Howard. week is going to be Ben Howard, everyone. Um, don't forget to follow us everywhere possible. Um, again, um, Instagram, Facebook at Falls on the Hill podcast, Twitter at Falls on the Hill pod, YouTube Falls on the Hill. Obviously, there'll be no video. I'm going to strictly say this right now. There won't be a video up on the YouTube this weekend. Um, I know you're all very sad about it, but Liam refuses to dance. I've told you where to on. send the hate mail to. Um, in I'm fact, you can throw stones. Um, <laughs> make sure it's after this Friday. Um, and then, you know, if you want to listen to the music we've listened to and tell us what you thought, or if we are wrong, then please do that. But again, direct all that hate towards Liam, please. Um, at please. God, Mr. Godstrong, that, that is. Um, <laughs> doctor, it's Dr. Pete. Doctor. Dr. Godstrong, yeah, I got my, uh, got my uh, PhD. PhD. 
Een dokter. Wat? In Big um, Dicks. Zo. PhD in Big Dicks. Zo, dat is een way to end it. <laughs> oh, it was out on John's birthday as of recording this. Yeah. Happy birthday, Kenneth. I was going to tell a um, an out on John joke, but I'm not going to. No, go on. You got go it now. On. Nah. I mean, it is a little bit funny. Thanks for listening, guys. Oh, hope you got the joke there, because that was the joke. So on that note... Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Got it. Name's the joke. <laughs> on that note, you rushed into that. Uh, I was going to say something else, uh, but it doesn't matter anymore. Yep. So good night. Thank you for listening. Bye. See you next week. Happy birthday, Dwight. That's his surname. Oh, yeah. Reggie. Mr. Dwight. Mr. Dwight the third. Please. Uh, I said Kenneth as well. That's not his name. We've we stopped now, haven't we? Uh, I've uh, now we stop. See you guys. Yeah. Bye bye. Only good old jump puns, old jokes. Oh, I haven't looked, mate. I thought of one, but it's not good. <laughs> it's all right. But none of them have been. <laughs> thanks thanks Cal. it's alright mate <laughs>